got costly osteoscope, very branded osteoscope in the lab. Uh, they might have seen the cost of the probe. Cost of the probe is very high. Because if, though the scope is good, those CRO is good, good, but if the probe is bad, the everything quality of osteoscope is lost in the probe itself. Because probing is very, very, very necessary. Otherwise, it is like as this hall has got net connectivity of optical fiber cable, maybe up that point, but from that point to my laptop, there is coaxial cable. It is as like as. Has no meaning. Okay. <coughs> Then the probe compensation. He should know the meaning of probe compensation. <coughs> this is the front end of CRO. Has got R1 is equal to 1 mega ohm. Normally input impedance of oscilloscope is 1, normally, normally, 1 mega ohm parallel to what? 25 picofarad. It is written there, everywhere. When we attach the probe, it is mentioned there, 1 mega ohm and 25 picofarad. Every circuit has got input impedance normally of capacity. That capacity is how much? 25 picofarad. Therefore, C1 is 25 micro here, R1 is 1 mega ohm, that is the cable, and then there is an order. Then attenuation ratio, there is a switch available on the, on the probe called as 10 as to 1. That is 10 times attenuation. If you apply 10 volt, it will, it will show how much? 1 volt. Then you multiply by 10, and imagine there is 10 volt. But this attenuation, how this attenuation is obtained? If R1 is equal to 1, 1 mega, for example, 1 mega, then Rp is equal to 9 mega. So that if you apply 10 volt, 9 volt will be across 9 mega, 1 volt will be across 1 mega, and you can get 1 volt. Fine? But this has no meaning at high frequency. At high frequency, reactance of this C1 becomes very low. Reactance of C1 becomes in, comes in short with what? R1 over 1 mega, and if reactance is say uh, 10 kilo ohm, the 10k parallel to 1 mega becomes 10k. There is no question of attenuation. This can be taken care by probe compensation by putting one more tab there. So that that CP and then C1. CP, normal thumb rule is CP multiplied by RP should be nearly equal to R1 multiplied by C1. Since CP you may not be able to change, then change the value of C1. Compensate the probe. Let us go back to cell calibration. When we attach the probe to the cell calibration more than we get the square wave, then if it is overcompensated, it will behave like hyperspeeder. Its edges it will pass very nicely. But the stable operating, uh, stable kind of uh, waveform, it gives sluggishness. If it is uh, undercompensated, it will show without any sag, without any tilt. But the right hand will not show it clearly. Therefore, compensation should be very much critical done without any damping. And that we can do with the top compensation. Hot and we should have that kind of probe where the compensation facility is there. In this way, it is necessary. Many times, in case of smart probes, but normally we do not use in the laboratories, but those smart sport, uh, probes have got on the tip itself an amplifier. Therefore, on the tip itself, we have an active circuit, plus the amplifier, and the impedance matching circuit here available. So that its output impedance is 75 ohm, gets matched with the cable impedance of 75 ohm, and matching happens. So active probes also are there. Make them aware. This is not only the probe, there is a one more probe called the active probe in which in which amplifier is there. Else, if there is an embedded board where the EMF amount is say 1 millivolt or say 10 microvolt, how 10 microvolt will reach to oscilloscope? It will be lost in the probe itself. The will is boosted up like a smart antenna at the tip itself. Okay. Coming down to the important and very uh, appealing part and requested by Professor Talwari to me that uh, ex explicitly tell the specifications and the comparatives. Correct, sir? <coughs> we all, uh, teaching faculty, normally we ask for, we buy, purchase my instruments every year. Before floating requirement to n number of vendors, the requirement remains a constant, common requirement. Should be really a technical, specific kind of thing. You should not float the inquiry that um, supply quotation for two address oscilloscope of 35 megahertz. Do it, now it happens. You know what 35 megahertz do it is. Manufacturers normally they are again of, uh, well aware of what we know. They uh, supply accordingly. We say, okay, 35 megahertz, two traces are there. It's enough. The rest of the specifications are there, which are very, very important, available in the special manual. But normally, you may not be like that, but normally, not taken care by the faculty. We should have very really clean understanding of these specifications. I shall read out and 
interpret one by one very fast. Number one, operating modes. Channel one and channel two, alternate or chop. I told the chopping frequency is how much? Normally 120 kHz. It cannot be more, otherwise uh, it becomes a very sluggish and many retraces are visible there. Next number two, vertical reflection. Miss vertical pit. That reflection system has got what? Bandwidth of DC to how much? 20 kHz. That is 3 dB of bandwidth. This 20 kHz is mentioned on the control panel also. Right? This 20 kHz <coughs> we learn in the right, in the filters, in simple RC filter, that 0.35 upon the rise time is called as bandwidth. Or 0.35 upon bandwidth is called as what? Rise time. Therefore, the next statement is rise time is of almost 17.5 microsecond. This shows that the electrical inertia of oscilloscope is how much? 17 microsecond. <coughs> Therefore, if you have a circuit, if there is one uh, device, dead on device, whose switching time is say 5 microsecond, and if switching time you want to measure by oscilloscope, then don't use this oscilloscope, his own rise time is, whose own rise time is how much? 17 microsecond. Therefore, decide what to measure on what. Therefore, before floating inquiry, make it clear that you want uh, zero of what bandwidth, what per unit you want, because bandwidth per megahertz is a cost. Per mega, real per megahertz. If you see the uh, scenario available outside with DSO analog, per megahertz is, you can compute, calculate. Next is accuracy. Accuracy of vertical reflection is how much here? 3%. Still is not good. 3% means plus or minus 3%. Means if I apply 100 volt, my actual voltage there will be 97 volt or 103 volt, plus or minus 3%. If it is acceptable, go for this here. It's not. Next, input impedance. We discussed 1 mega ohm capacitive 25 kilo high. Input coupling DC, AC, and ground. We will discuss on that. Input voltage max is 400 volt max. If DC plus what? PTC. PTC plus op, including offset, whatever is the peak we can show. Major is what? 400 volt. It is vertical. Now, for the time coefficient, 18 fibrous steps. Time prediction. How many switches are there? How many locations are there? 18. And what step? Starting from 0.5 micro volt microsecond per centimeter up to 0.2 centimeter per second, but not randomly. 1 to 5, 1 to 5, 1 to 5. See, it is 1 to 5 sequence. 5 to 1, 5 to 1, 5 to 1, everywhere. Starts with 5 and ends at 1. Everywhere. In whole perturbation as well as time perturbation. Everywhere. Accuracy. Plus or minus 3% in CAN position. The switch should be at what position? CAN. No doubt. Trigger system. Trigger system is required to sync up perfectly the X plates and the Y plates. Modes are automatic and variable. We discuss on that. Source is a channel 1. Channel 2 or it can be external, discuss on control panel. Slope can be positive or negative, no doubt. Trigger is slow. Trigger bandwidth is 40 megahertz. In this oscilloscope, these are the specs taken from scientific oscilloscope, which is available here, uh, mentioned here or for demonstration. This does not mean that this is the only oscilloscope. There are n number of vendors that uh, avoid the confusion. There are n number of very good vendors available with very good oscilloscopes. One of them should be there. They must have therefore it is mentioned here available based upon the availability of oscilloscope in this department, in this college. <coughs> Horizontal deflection, bandwidth is DC to 2.3 megahertz. Deflection coefficient, again 12 steps. In what sequence? 1 to 5. Starting from 1 millivolt per centimeter and at the end 10 volt per centimeter. Component testing, 